Good day everybody, how are you today? Welcome to my channel and another day in the life of my pathetic life as a homeowner. Today's episode, we are gonna be replacing these fixtures. And we're gonna be replacing them with these lovely fixtures that my wife bought. And they're gonna be using these little Edison bulbs here. So, in a tribute, and to make this, uh, in a tribute to Edison, Thomas Edison, and uh, to make this uh, video a little bit more entertaining, I'm gonna be changing these fixtures out while they're live. Meaning, I'm gonna leave the power on them, um, and I'm gonna try to swap them, what's considered a hot swap, not recommended, but in order to add some entertainment value into this video, let's try it. Also, I'm gonna pound a few beers before I do that, so it'll make it a little bit more entertaining, and um, cross my fingers I don't shock myself, but eh, I've worked around 120 before, and it's not as bad as you might think, so follow along and let's go. All right, got myself a fresh beer. Cheers, boys and girls, and let's get going here. First things first, we gotta take these uh, old ones out. And there's a little knob on this one. Sometimes there's two screws. This one seems like it has this little one little cap screw here. Realistically, that should pop out and expose us to some dirty ass wiring. Obviously, these have been here forever. This is pretty much garbage. As you can see, we still got the lights on. All right. Let's start pulling this stuff out. Hold on, let me drop this. I don't need that anymore. All right, we're gonna pull all these wires out of here. There we go. We got the black, which is the hot. We got the white, which is the neutral. And then we got the ground, which is usually the copper wire that has no shielding on it. So here we go. All right. First things first, obviously we're still live here. Neutral, usually not, won't electrocute you. Ground won't electrocute you. This little fucker might. So this is the most important wire here. And um, I highly recommend, if you're doing electrical around the house, you buy one of these little little uh, pens here. It's essentially a little electricity pen here. Hold on, there we go. So it's green, there's no electricity, but when it senses there's electricity, it beeps and flashes red, right? So, like I said, neutral's not gonna have the power. Ground shouldn't have the power. However, the black is gonna have the power. And that's why this thing's beeping and flashing. So, as long as I avoid this for the most part, I should be okay. But, um, uh, yeah, let's get started here. Let's take this thing apart. So first things first, I'll just undo this ground. Actually, you know what? There's a ground right there as well. I'm gonna do that one first. That'll just loosen this whole thing up for me. Actually, uh, since it's kind of holding it here, you know what, let's leave that ground there. Let's just rip these off. These little grommets here. The wire nuts. All right, lights off. All right, black's disconnected. So now do this ground. So by the way, this obviously this black's not hot. This is the only wire I'm concerned about right now. So I'm gonna try to move it out of the way here. And then everything else is okay. Shit, my drill fail. Come on, you fucking thing. Get out of there. It's been a bitch. All right, I'm gonna cut it out. All right, got some wire, got some wire cutters here. This, you know, this is still the hot wire. Nothing there. The ground's bullshit. This is beeping at me to turn you off. All right, you're fucking out of here. And then, last but not least, I'm gonna take that ground out. And this piece of ugly piece of shit lamp is free.
Boom, you're out. Time to unpack a new one and let's put it back in. Alrighty, look at these beautiful little lamps. I'm gonna, put that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something in a sec here. This is gonna be funny. I'm gonna put this down though, but I'll give you a fucking 101 lesson on electricity. Look at these beautiful, beautiful things. All right. All right, we put this bulb right in here. Beautiful, all right. We're gonna have to figure out how to put that in, but before I do, I'm gonna show you something. This is, this is gonna give you an idea of how electricity works. All right. Three wires, neutral, ground, hot. In order to have current flow out of hot, in order to have current flowing, it's gotta get a complete circuit. So you can do a complete circuit into the neutral, you can do a complete circuit into the ground, okay? So, I'm wearing these beautiful reef sandals here that open up my beers for me when I'm fucking in the beer opener. And they are rubber. They act as an insulator to the ground. Now, as long as I'm wearing these sandals, I can touch this live wire and it's not gonna complete the circuit all the way into the ground. If I touch this wire, if I touch the copper on that one, and I touch the copper on this one like this, I'm gonna have electricity flowing all the way around me. So, check this out. This is clearly hot, right? I'm gonna hold it right here. I'm gonna charge my body. This indicator is gonna know that my body is hot. However, the sandals are stopping the electricity from going and flowing. So I'm gonna have no current. I'm not actually gonna get shocked. So check this out. I'm holding the black wire. This meter is out here. It knows I'm charged, but I'm not getting electrocuted because I don't have a pathway to the ground. Is that pretty cool or what? That being said, I thought that was pretty cool, but long story short, it's pretty easy for me to fuck around and touch both of these at the same time and uh, slip up and touch the chair with my leg and potentially get grounded but so let's get this freaking thing installed and cross my fingers I ain't gonna touch any of these fucking wires and get electrocuted oh, fuck, I need a sip of beer all right my little lamp kit came with this little bracket here and some new uh, wire nuts and uh, so I'm just gonna take the old one off and I'm gonna end up putting this new one back on here. So let's do that first. Again, don't touch that hot wire. Ooh, what kind of, that's kind of weird. Oh, that's really weird, this screw sucks. This screw's gonna be a fucking problem. Someone put a massive screw here. It shouldn't be that big. Some washers. Jesus Christ. What a fucking hack job. Fucking hack job. Alright. I have a feeling this is not gonna be very fucking easy. Let's screw this one. See, this is where you're gonna get electrocuted if you're gonna. If anything's gonna happen, you're gonna get electrocuted because you're messing around with these wires. Like this. Like I am. And you have the probability that you're gonna touch the live. Even if you touch the live to this, and then it all kind of completes, you run the risk of electrocuting yourself. So, hold on a second. Yeah. This is just stupid. Who the fuck was the electrician that did this shit? Fuck's sakes. Alright. Let's wash her. Alright, now it's kind of gonna get tricky here. Gotta, you kind of need two people to do this. <sighs> I could go get my wife, but I feel like she's busy. And she don't want to do it. 
So I'm gonna loop a wire around here, or some string, so I can tie the lamp into some sort of working situation where I can wire these up. So I'm gonna loop this around like this. Again, watching the wires. Don't electrocute yourself. Well, realistically, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I'll try and feel it's gonna fall. All right, so I'm gonna tie this up. All right, we good? All right, we're fucking good. Drill. For the sake of fucking. Just for the sake of video, we're still hot here. Alright. So we got our little ground wire here. I'm to get out of the way. So I'm gonna loop it around this little green wire like that. A green screw. And then we put it in. All right, so that's good. So that's our ground, and I'm gonna loop it around to the to the ground in here too, so everything's grounded. So we got this fixture's gonna be grounded, and then this is the ground that runs into the panel into your house, so you wanna ground that. And again, these these uh, this wire here, you don't have to worry about, you're not gonna get electrocuted with. I'm gonna loop this out of the way from the hot wire. And then get to go like this. So just so you know, you can touch this one, it's not a big deal. This is the one you're trying to avoid. That little fucker there isn't gonna... If, if I'm touching this right now and I touch that, I'm gonna get electrocuted. So that's what we're trying to avoid here. Put your little wire nut on. I usually put it on and tighten it until the wire starts to twist around itself like that. That's a good connection. So that one's good. Now I'm gonna find the white wire, which is right here on the lamp. I'm gonna get my hands in the pocket. Get another little wire nut. And let's do the white wire. go okay so we're good here we got the neutral we got the ground done now it's time for the hot all right this is obviously the trickiest part here right so as soon as i touch this it should turn the light on there you go right this is a hot wire so i'm gonna get my grommet i keep calling them grommets but they're wire knots or it's a bunch of names for them anyways as long as I keep my fucking sandals on, I can fuck with this. I can fuck with this a little bit. So there we go. So like literally the light's on and I'm touching it. You see that? And I'm not getting electrocuted. Now again, I don't recommend doing it this way. I'm just showing you for the sake of the fucking video and again the tribute to uh, Mr. Thomas Edison for these beautiful Edison style lights that have in the LED for the new school that you can pull this off without getting killed. And that's pretty much it. So let's throw this fucking, uh, I got my ground screw done. I'm gonna try to, where's my drill at? So my ground screw's done. I'm gonna tighten these screws. I'm just gonna make sure they're perfectly parallel. Let's do that. So get fucking in here. Good to me. Okay. All right. I'm gonna untie this now. I think we got enough wires to hold all this shit up. Now I'm gonna tuck all these wires in, and this is again, this is gonna be the run the risk of electrocution potential by tucking all this shit in here. 
realistically, you don't really need to like, tuck it crazy in there, but I'm going to tuck it all in. Make sure when you're tucking it in that the hot wire has no potential of touching anything else. Take it off. Now I got the ability to get these dead in. And that's on. Fucking done. I can adjust it a little bit. Bam! One light in. It's not crooked. Burp, burp, burp. If you like these lights, I'm gonna post the link down below as to where they are on eBay. And I'm gonna finish off those two right there. And I'll fucking get back there in a second. There you have it, boys and girls. Three fixtures are in. One, two, and three. And I survived without getting electrocuted. But I'll be perfectly honest with you guys, the only one I did hot was the first one. I left the electricity on that one. Uh, the other two, I kind of turned the electricity off just to mitigate my risk. And let's be real here, you should not be swapping stuff out when the electricity is on. If you have to, if you for whatever reason have to go to that extent, you should be calling an electrician. I do actually have an electrical background and that's why I did this video. And I hope you guys learned something from it because um, this thing called electricity is a beautiful thing. Shout out to fucking Nikola Tesla and uh, Thomas Edison and all the other inventors that made this thing a beautiful thing. But realistically it is a dangerous thing at the same time i'm fucking with 120 volts arguably it's not going to kill you arguably and I've, I've you can argue that you can call me an idiot all you want for uh for that comment but um realistically it's 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 okay the higher the voltage the more risk you run uh with doing what i'm doing so i hope you guys learned something from this i have a ton of other projects coming up around the house i'm always doing something please subscribe to my channel i always try to add some educational value to it whether it's me running a risk like I just did or it's you know something that uh, you might find interesting so follow along and let's go on to the next project cheers